Yo, what's going on everybody? So in today's video, we're going to learn how to set up and use React Router version 6 with Material UI's app bar or nav bar, what do you want to call it? And this is what we're going to be building right here. It's uh, the generic app bar right here. And we can click on any of these links right here and it'll take us to that uh, component that corresponds to each link. So right here we have pricing. It'll take us to the pricing uh, component and products, products component. And without further ado, Let's get into it. All right, so I have this brand new React app made right here, and I also started it down here. And the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is installing all of our packages that we need for this to work. And so those packages are gonna be Emotion, React, Emotion Styled, Material UI Icons, Material UI, uh, same thing, Icons again, and uh, Material UI. As well as, I don't think it added it here, but we also need React router and react router dom all right so now we have all of our packages installed and now what we're going to do is create our components to host our individual routes so inside of my source folder i'm going to create a new folder and i'll call it components and inside of there i'll create mm, five different uh, files so the first one is going to be blog.js Next one is going to be home.js. After that, nav.js. This is going to host our nav bar. Next one, pricing.js. And the final one will be products.js. And just to have some information filled inside of it, I'm going to go ahead and copy this stuff right here. I'll paste it inside of each, and individ each individual one of those components. And I'll just rename it really quickly so we don't need this app import. We don't need the logo either. Let's change this name to pricing. Let's make this into ES6 syntax. We'll do const pricing is equal to curly braces, arrow function. And let's go ahead and clear all this stuff up. We don't need that. Let's export it as well down here. And I'll just type in here pricing route, just so we know that that's the pricing route that we've entered. And I'll also import React as well. React from oops, we need a just capital React from React. There we go. And I'll just go ahead and copy this bad boy right here and I'll paste it into here. Let's change these names right here to products. And how the reason the way I did that was I selected one and I did control D on my keyboard. I don't know if it's the same thing on Mac or not, but uh, that's what is on Windows. So, home. This one's going to be blog. And let's put in here. Well, we don't need anything in the navbar right now. So, we have blog. So, we have blog right here. We have home, pricing, products. Cool. So, now we have all of our components built. Let's go ahead and build our actual app bar. All right, so right now I'm in the Material UI documentation. The links to these docs is in the description below. So what we're gonna be doing is selecting our app bar that we need. And if we scroll a little bit, we'll see this right here called app bar with responses menu. And I'll click on this show the source button right here and we'll see all the code that we need. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy all of this stuff right here. And I'll paste it into my nav.js file right here. And I'll leave the name as is, but I will convert. Oh, it's already converted into ES6 syntax. Cool. So now what we're going to do is take this uh, responsive app bar and we're going to put it into our app.js file right here. So I'll get rid of header and all this junk inside of here, put it in there, and we'll also import it like so. And now if we go into the actual app, we should see. Well, slash product doesn't exist, but we should see our navbar right there. Perfect. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a link to each of our individual pages that we need. So inside of our nav component, we'll see that we have this array called products, called pages with products, pricing, and blog. And we're going to associate a link to each of those. So the first thing I'm going to do is import our React Router DOM. So we'll do import link from React router dom and scrolling a little bit down around like line 79 line 80 we'll see that this there's a uh, pages array 
and we're going to get rid of this right here and we'll replace it with a link and inside of that link we'll do the curly braces and we'll add pages inside of there oops just page and we'll do two so this is going to direct to a certain page I'll do curly braces back ticks slash dollar sign another curly brace page so we just did here we said that we want to associate each of these links to go to slash whatever the page is titled so if it's slash products it will go to slash products slash pricing then it'll go to slash pricing cool and there's another section if we scroll a little bit down here we should see another page right here we're gonna do the exact same thing so let's go ahead and copy this link we'll put it down here and I'll get rid of that and just for some styling I'll just add a style is equal to well, we just want two different styles so we'll do text decoration to be none and color to be white oops white and I'll copy this style and I'll put it into my other link right here and so now we have all of our links attached let's go ahead and import our actual browser router all right now let's go ahead and implement our browser router inside of our index.js file right here so what I'll do is I'll do import browser router from react router dom and it should be from not from that's not even a word and what we're going to do is we're going to encapsulate this app inside of those tags so I'll do browser router get rid of that app and put us out of there cool so now if we test it out we should see that if we click on any of these links it'll take us to that actual URL with the slash blog pricing and products but it doesn't actually show us the component so let's go ahead and actually add our component to show so going into our app.js right here underneath my responsive app bar I'm gonna do routes from react router and inside of that routes is going to host all of our route all of our individual routes so I'll do route from react router path is equal to slash and we'll do element to be home whoops whoa that was weird home like so and then with the self closing brace I'll copy this and I'll paste it a total of four times inside of this slash we'll do blog same thing here blog this one will be pricing and this one will also be pricing and same thing here products and products there we go and I just noticed that we don't actually need the slash right here whoops so these slashes aren't required but we do need a slash for the home page so that the actual browser knows that this component is established is um, corresponding to the actual home page and this component to this blog page this component to this page this component to this page and so now if we actually test it out we will see that we cannot find blog.js what is that even oh whoops there we go that was a capital L for some reason all right so now if we test it out we see right here at the very corner we see products route I'll zoom in a little bit we see products route if I click pricing we'll see pricing route blog blog route so these are this is now actually rendering each of those components all right so now we're done with the whole tutorial but there's this one thing that I wanted to teach you guys I thought it was hilarious um, I came up with this example where have you guys ever seen that movie uh, the B movie where in the beginning of the movie they showed this job board where each of these bees had an occupation and it was the total number of positions and the available position and whether or not it was open or not so that was an example that I came up with how route can work so you can associate an occupation to a path and then you can associate a status or um, a bee's name to the element so be like home so if we had occupation of products 
then we can associate that B or that component to products. And I just thought that was a really cool example. That concludes the entire tutorial. I hope that it helped you out. I hope you learned a lot. And if you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.